hello friends welcome back to my channel QJS basics in earlier video I forget one thing so I am telling you about that in this video grouping of layers I forgot in earlier video quick revision for editing of tools and digitization and how to update attributes have a quick look over there also and uh, I will tell you also about one more thing and about this is map tooltip so first we start with grouping of layers so I have these shape files so I am going to load all the shape files Just click select all layers and add selected layers to project now my all layers are visible here so yeah, I want to group them in point line and area so I'll make group like I want point in one group and line in one group and polygon in another group so I create group right just right click here and add group name it point create another group line and create another group polygon so I had created these three groups and I will move these points by selecting using control button and just click one by one and just hold it with left button and drag it to point you will see here it will take it forms a rectangle then it will be moved into group and if it show a line then it will be moved below the group so when you see the rectangle just drop it here and release the mouse button you will see all points comes under point feature now line features just drag it here and similarly polygons to polygon now we have these groups and you can easily turn on and off all layers of polygon you can turn off all layers of line and similarly point so this is how the grouping works one more thing I'll just tell you first I have to load something else uh, I just load some images so add a group named image I'm just adding arc this is image I just copy it if I select here and then click again on this if I select the group and just drag a layer by double clicking it will automatically come inside this group so I'm just adding one more layer open a street map so now all three layers are open if you want to see only one layer one by one then one method is to just just on one layer just and if you want to another layer then turn off first layer and then turn on second layer there is one more option about this mutual just click mutually exclusive group if you check this button then what happened now my open street maps is shown as I click Google it will turn off open street map and if I click on arc image then it will turn off Google and open it similarly you can do this in polygon also if I click on mutually only one layer is visible just turn off just turn point now water area feature is visible as I click transport area only transport area is visible if I click building then only building area is visible so this is how you can use grouping of layers and we can use mutually exclusive group I just turn off and check all this will work this option uncheck all its children work only after you turn off the 
mutual exclusive group so this is how we can group the layers you have seen these images this is arc image this is google image these are the tiles these are surfing from a offline tile server which is stored in my pc and this open street map is this is surfing from open street map so as i hover the mouse over it you will see https tile open street map dot org and for google it is from local server http local host jharkhand and then path you can configure your own tile server i had mentioned in the card here you can click on it uh, to get how to configure the offline tile server by your own this is the index of all india so how it's look just uh, set the style for this i'm just fill set to transparent and uh, labels i will tell you how to view labels later in in later videos first i will look at this this as you see this similarly if i have other layers or uh, alternate layers of line polygon point you can do editing in on that also if you want to fill some particular value in selected objects then how to do it is i'm just trying to select the this much i have selected these 16 features from index file just take a information here it is the this is the information in it's a 15 by 15 mats id n and this is the sheet number i'm just creating a new column here and want and just uh, enter the value there so this is suppose i want remark column and text string of 10 figure okay now this is the remark column i want to put some particular remark in these 16 files how to do this in one shot so select this click on toggle editing and just open this this button this is modify attribute once you click on it it will open the attribute form and you fill here just test okay and click okay and click on save now you'll see that if i open the my attribute table and from show all feature tab i'll select so selected feature you will see here all 16 files have the test in in their remark field so this is how you can do attribute manipulation in a single click if i want to remove this just remove and click okay now you will see this is a oh, selected feature now it's removed so this is how you can do the manipulation of data i have mentioned in the description how to download this uh, 50k index download from there so uh, freely available and now one more thing uh, i'm just turning off the labels and just labels and no labels okay now i want to see the file sheet numbers of these index numbers in mouse hovering and how to do it just double click it on display Let's select from here select sheet number and click okay now this is the tool tip button now this is the tool tip button from here you can once you hover the mouse over it leave for 
just activate this button and once you hover the mouse over it it will show the sheet number I'm just taking this one I this is it is hiding behind that so this is 53d4 it's hiding behind uh, how to do this this is Map tool tip display map tool tip. Mm, I just to remove this one. I have to take another layer. I just uh, just add this layer. I'm just going to uh, roads now. I just. I want to so I'll tell you about one more thing this is about map tool tip just double click on your layer click on display and select the field you want want to see in map tool tip so just click name and you have to activate this button this button just activate this button and once you hover the mouse over a road you will see the name of road if it is entered here if it is not there then you will not be able to see as you hover the mouse over it it will show the Ranchi ring road and this is Barkin road you will see the this is how you can see the map tool tip I don't have so much names here so it is not possible this is Mahatma Gandhi road so that's all for all if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and save the playlist and bookmark the page thank you